Okay, earlier on today, I was taking care of a patient who actually came into the hospital for really bad back pain. And it's been going on for about two weeks. And chronically, she does have some history of back pain, but it just gotten worse and worse over the last two weeks where she can't barely even get up and walk. Not because she's weak, but because she's in so much pain. So she was brought in, she appeared to have uh, a UTI, a blood infection, and her urine culture did grow um, a particular bacteria, uh, Klebsiella pneumoniae, uh, and also her blood culture also grew that too. So whatever it is, it seems like it has gotten from the urine to the uh, to the bladder uh, to uh, to the bloodstream, and um, so. Anyways, we we treated her infection and also got an MRI of her lower back to take a look at things uh, because she was in so much pain. So uh, just for perspective, um, this is hers splitting right in the middle uh, into two halves. And since this is spine right here, the spinal column right here, that's the spinal canal with the right here where the spinal cord travels into. So this is a good section here where you have the fluid here, the white the white uh, sections here, and then the gray section is the spinal cord traveling down, plenty of room for it to move down up until you hit lumbar, uh, lumbar level five, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, two and three, you can see that there is uh, the, and this is the spinal, this is the vertebrae, and that's the disc uh, disc, vertebrae, disc, the spinal, um, uh, the spinal canal here with the spinal cord traveling through it. So here, plenty of room for, for the spinal cord to travel through. Lower down here, you see that the disc seems to have been squished out a little bit here, bulges out at these two level, therefore causing a, um, stenosis or, or compromise or narrowing of the uh, spinal canal here, so uh, certainly applying some pressure to the spinal cord, so therefore uh, can cause a lot of pain. Uh, one other thing to uh, notice is the fact that the disc here appeared to be um, uh, enhanced or light up a little bit, signs of inflammation. Uh, this is uh, the, the normal disc here, normal disc here, normal disc normal color, but here it, it lights up. So some inflammation is happening here as well. So we treated the blood infection and then subsequently uh, consulted a spine uh, surgeon who recommended that uh, get rid of the infection first uh, in, in the bladder and in the blood and, and then get her to see a, a surgeon to get decompression where they'll clean up this area in that area right here to allow room for the spinal cord to travel through and that should help with the pain. So she was sent over to skilled nursing home and she finished a course of the antibiotics, but she continues to have a lot of pain. So she came back uh, where we had to do more evaluation. And uh, this is the most current uh, MRI where, um, let's see here. So. Uh, again, this is a cross-section uh, of the spinal um, canal right right here. It's a little bit blurry, but uh, here it's good because it has plenty of room for the spinal cord here to travel. You see the fluid on both sides. But as you get down here, the you continue to have this inflammation here, continue to have that inflammation there in the spinal canal seems to be obliterated. So whatever is happening, we're thinking now that it, it is just not a disc bulges that causes this. Likely the infection is traveling to this region right here and right here uh, to cause a lot of inflammation and um, deterioration of the disc. And therefore that's why she's in so much pain. And so um, she was uh, transferred to another facility because we don't have uh, neurosurgical uh, service here at a uh, hospital yet. Um, so she was transferred out. She will likely need to, um, again, 
uh, certainly get antibiotics for treatment of the uh, these sort of infl inflammation, infection, discitis, and also probably osteomyelitis or infection of the bone in the disc here. And then uh, subsequently down the road, she may need surgery to decompress and clean all of these things out. So uh, hopefully she will um, do well, but these sort of... Uh, Complex issue requires complex uh, surgical procedures and or uh, long-term treatments and uh, she will be gone for probably a couple of weeks and uh, sometimes they do tr uh, transfer those patients back to our facility and uh, we will continue to take care of them. But this is a complex issue. So possibly a simple UTI that was brewing for a while travel into the bloodstream and then into the spinal column here to cause discitis, osteomyelitis, um, certainly other con uh, other things that can uh, can lead to this sort of infections in the spine it could be endocarditis or infection of the heart valves. I'm sure they will continue to search for other potential sources and make sure she's uh, appropriately taken care of. All right, well, thank you for joining me and I hope this is a, a unique um, case uh, that you will learn something from it and if you do have a blood infection, it's it's another. Uh, it, sh it should be uh, noted. Uh, it, you should get evaluated and treated. Sometimes, on rare occasion, those infection can travel into your blood and into your spine or other ca uh, other places that can cause complications and or problems. Okay. All right. I wish you good health. Take care. Bye.